Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Dr. Samuel. And today I would like to share with you about COVID vaccine uh, and also how uh, the COVID-19 becoming you know, a pandemic from the start of you know, China and then after it became uh, really a problem all over you know, the world. So we'll try to see what are you know, the measures uh, that have been taken you know, for COVID vaccine. And then after that, what kind of you know, measures uh, the scientists you know, take to, to block you know, the transmission of the SARS-CoV-2 vaccine? So maybe for today, we'll try to see a little bit you know, about that. So to start you know, with uh, COVID-19, it was you know, caused by uh, the SARS-CoV-2. And initially, it was identified in China in December uh, uh, 2019. And then after that, it became uh, tried to uh, pandemic, and then uh, the the vi the the virus is transmitted you know, all over the world after uh, eleven March twenty twenty, and then there was really a, a lot of measures have been taken to to block you know, the transmission of the virus. So maybe as of uh, fourteen February twenty twenty one. Almost greater than 180 million was confirmed you know, with COVID, and greater than 2.3 million a day was reported you know, by COVID-19, which is you know, all over you know, the world. So really, COVID you know, brings a lot of you know, days and morbidity in the world. So after that, until December 22, uh, there wasn't you know, any effective you know, treatment. And also there wasn't you know, any vaccine that was you know, available you know, to block another you know, the transmission and also to control you know, the disease. Uh, so in many countries, they have implemented you know, different you know, measures in order to block you know, the transmission. So maybe one of the measures that was you know, taken to block uh, such kind of uh, transmission is uh, maybe the frequent you know, hand washing by frequently uh, washing you know, our hands, we can we can try to uh, uh, reduce you know, the transmission of the virus to to yeah to not to be exposed you know, for us, but also not to uh, transmit to others. So frequent hand washing was uh, one of the the measures that was you know, taken to reduce uh, its transmission. And then the other measure that was you know, taken is the use of you know, the face mask. Face mask was also is really very important because there was you know, coughing and also sneezing, a lot of uh, uh, coughing by um, the infected you know, people. So to block you know, the, again its transmission by use of you know, the, uh, the face mask, uh, it can also reduce you know, its transmission. So that was, you know, uh, one of you know, the measures uh, to to block you know, this transmission. And another another measure that was taken is a physical distance. So physical distance at least maybe 1.5 uh, meter between two people. So right, when we go to shopping, when we go to a certain area, and when we go in different areas, so people need to keep you know, their distance, a physical distance, as you see in the picture. So physical distance was also one of the, the measures that was taken by uh, different you know, countries to uh, reduce you know, its transmission of the COVID-19. And then the other one is uh, reduction or cancellation of you know, mass gathering. So people should not be uh, gathered in a certain area as you see in a picture maybe it could be in a party or it could be some ceremonies in a church or in another you know ceremonies or in a wedding so mass gathering was not allowed to to block this transmission so one of the measures is also reduction of such kind of you know, mass gathering so after that, yeah, avoiding you know, the crowded spaces in area where people are crowded uh, in a crowded you know, places, we should not uh, put ourselves into there because uh, maybe if someone is already infected you know, with the virus, we may have another you know, chance to be, to get uh, the virus. So we need to avoid you know in in a crowded you know, place. 
So that's uh, what we, what, 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 another measure that was you know, implemented was just people was working from their home and they stay at their home, right? And there was you know, different measures also uh, taken in order to limit the movement. So quarantine, if someone is getting infected you know, with a virus, so quarantine was there, maybe a week or it could be two weeks. So depending on the nature of uh, uh, the rule that was implemented in different parts of you know, the country, quarantine was one of you know, the major for the infected you know, people. And the curfew, curfew is also another way uh, that was implemented. And lockdown mm, and, uh, is also another that was an implemented in different parts of you know, the world. And then finally, one year later, the start of you know, the pandemic in December 2020, the first COVID-19 vaccine was uh, already uh, received from the WHO. Then as of 18 February 2021, at least seven different vaccines has been ruled out in different you know, countries. So let's have a look you know, what are you know, the different you know, vaccines that has already developed you know, by the different you know, companies. So maybe one of the one of the vaccine is the Moderna vaccine, right? Moderna was one of which is uh, more COVID nineteen uh, vaccine. Moderna was one of the uh, uh, the vaccine that is uh, uh, that is uh, already uh, established to 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 control its transmission. And another one is you know the Pfizer. And uh, in India, the Serum Institute of India also, the COVID shell, uh, shell TM, AstraZeneca, and also the Sinovac, and the inactivated, uh, the Corona, the CoronaVac TM, and also the Gamalei National Center, and the Johnson Johnson is also another uh, company that uh, produces you know, a vaccine for Corona. So anyway, there was you no know, different you know, companies that was uh, producing a COVID you know, vaccine. So these are you no know, some of you know, the vaccine. So these are you no know, uh, the different you no know, vaccines by now implemented in different you no know, uh, parts of you know, the world. And maybe if you go in the Western, then there might be Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson. And maybe in different parts of you know, the the continent, is, they may have you know uh, another uh, type of you know, vaccine. Anyway, vaccine uh, after you know, vaccination, the incidence uh, of the the COVID was really reduces, and the different uh, measures that was taken also relatively now is relaxed. So this is you know uh, uh, a little bit about you know its vaccine. So obviously, uh, however, uh, obviously the scientists are producing you know, different you know, vaccine, but another issue becoming you know, really pandemic apart from the, the COVID. So that is you know, the issue of you no know, vaccine hesitancy that become really uh, distributed in different you know, parts of the world. So that's really becoming a challenge, you know, for the public health, you know, problems. So it is called the info epidemiology, the, the information that was uh, said about the disease, the false information is uh, telling by different you know, peoples. So as a result, you know, many peoples in different parts of the world are becoming you know, vaccine hesitant. And also there might be different um, activists that are really vaccine hesitant and they they disseminate in the social media about you know the vaccine but they are not really the specialist for it so vaccine hesitancy becoming really a problem even though there was different you know vaccine is producing in different parts of you know, the world so what does it mean vaccine hesitancy mean so let's have a look you know vaccine hesitancy Maybe later we'll see in detail, but for today, uh, just I'll try to tell you only a, a little bit about uh, what is a vaccine hesitancy is. So when we say, you know, vaccine hesitancy, uh, it is just a delay in acceptance or a refusal of a vaccination, despite, you know, the availability of you know, the vaccination service. So, so that is what a vaccine hesitancy 
So this is becoming really the main hurdle to overcome the COVID-19. So maybe we later, maybe in, in the next in a series, I'll try to, uh, to tell you uh, in detail about the three S's, the three C's, uh, that is you know, the vaccine hesitancy. So what are, what, uh, what are the different you know, types of uh, vaccine hesitancy? We'll see in detail about that. So anyway, even though vaccination is really very important in the reduction of the mortality or the morbidity, and also vaccination in general is very important for the eradication of you know, several infectious you know, diseases in the past. So by now, the major issue that we need to solve is the vaccine hesitancy. So vaccine hesitancy could be arise from the parent. So there is an apparent vaccine hesitant uh, peoples. So in that case, if the people, uh, the parents are vaccine hesitant, so they don't allow you know, their child is to be vaccinated you know, for different you know, vaccine. So that is you know, the parent you know, vaccination. Even in some cases, professionals also becoming you know, vaccine hesitant. So that needs to be also solved. And the vaccine hesitant could also be arise from the religious you know, leaders. So maybe in some religions, vaccination might not be allowed. So in that case, people are getting you know, uh, uh, exposed you know, for different you know, viruses or bacteria, whatever. So if they don't get you know, the vaccine, obviously they will have another you know, disease. So vaccine hesitancy could be arise from the, the religious you know, leaders. So anyway, vaccine hesitancy is by now is a really a big issue that we need to solve. We need to solve, we need to show all the stakeholders. We need to come into together and you know, discuss about the vaccine hesitancy because vaccines are really very important. Uh, in the near future, there might be different you know, viruses that will, uh, that will come or that will emerging. So if they are emerging, then obviously vaccine is really mm, a, a way to prevent you know, them. And especially those in you know, RNA viruses, especially they are, uh, they had you know, high mutation rates. So obviously if they had you know, high mutation rates, so different you know, strains will come up. For example, if you just look you know, the COVID you know, vaccine, the COVID-19 by now, there, there are you no know, different you know, variants. Even recently, uh, there is an you know, Omicron variant that was, you know, uh, reported from the South Africa, right? So obviously, RNA viruses, due to their you know, high mutation, there might be different you know, variants. So obviously, we need to have a, a we need to have a vaccine, right? We need to have a vaccine for each of them. So that vaccination is really very important. So that is you know the uh, my message you know for today. Uh, so maybe for next uh, in the next part two, I'll part three. Maybe I'll try to present in detail about you know vaccine hesitancy, and then I will also present you know, some articles uh, that could be um, in different you know, part of the world. Maybe from Africa or from the Western. I'll take you know some uh, papers, and then I'll try to present you know those papers you know for you. So this is uh, this is all you know, what I would like to say you know for today. So thank you, you know for watching this uh, Pegasus you know, lecture, and don't forget to subscribe and share and like uh, this uh, uh, channel. And thank you very much you know for uh, for being you know, with me. This is you know, Samuel.